Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is going to be how to communicate with Morse code using light. So just a quick background for you. In the 1830s is when the electric telegraph was invented. And then soon later, Morse code was uh, created for it. Um, and then soon after that, they started using Morse code using light. And I have firsthand experience doing this because as a quartermaster in the Navy, um, my secondary job was signalman, which deals with all of the all the communications with flags and light. So similar to your regular sound Morse code, instead of dits and dots, we usually call them dots and dashes using the searchlight in the Navy. It's the same concept where there is a short and a long. So usually one second for a dot and three seconds for a dash. So between letters, you usually do three seconds between letters and then seven seconds between words. Just differentiate each unit. So since we're now in modern times, we don't really use this often, but it's a great thing to know just in case for emergency. So how we would use it on the ship is we would use a searchlight. I have this flashlight here and they have a lever on it where you, where you push the lever and it exposes the light, and then you bring it back, and then it closes the shutter. And the rule of thumb, guys, is send it as fast as you can read it. So definitely as a beginner, and pretty much for my entire time in the Navy, I would send words very slowly, so then they will send it back to me slowly so I can, so I can decipher it. So Morse code has symbols for all the letters, all the numbers, and even punctuation. But today, let's just go over all of the letters. And just as a heads up, as I go through each of these letters, I'll be saying the letter based on the military phonetic alphabet. So instead of A, we say alpha. It makes it easier to talk if you're on the phone or doing this. So obviously, I don't have a searchlight here in my basement, but I'm gonna use a flashlight and use a black piece of paper as if this is the shutter of a searchlight. So here we go. Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. Delta. Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo Lima Mike November Oscar Papa Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey. X-ray. Yankee. Zulu. So like I said, there are also numbers and punctuation, but that's the basics of letters. 
So now let's go through a couple examples of how we would send and receive messages. Okay, so let's say it's time to send a message to another ship using light. You would first write down the message. So let's say you want to say, hi. So you would first write hi, and then I'm going to decipher what hotel and in India is. So hotel was short, 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 short. And then India is just short, short. So then when it's time to send the message, you would say, so you have the searchlight on already, right? And then you would say, wait a few seconds. And then turn it off. And then they know it's over. So then on their end, they write down exactly what you said. And they go, oh, hi. And then when they send you a message, you would, at least as a beginner, you might just write down what they say. So let's say they start shining a light at you. You would write down whatever you see. So let's just say you see. So they send you this message via light and all you wrote down was what you saw. You would then go to your cheat sheet of how the Morse code goes and then you figure out, okay, so this is Bravo, this is Yankee, and this is Echo. Oh, they said bye. So as long as you have your Morse code cheat sheet and a searchlight, you can do Morse code at home. So thank you and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Hi.